What's good with it, y'all? Welcome back to A1 Hoop Zone. Back at y'all another one. NBA Quick Hits prediction video series, man. We on volume 81. But before we jump into that, man, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's get into it, man. So, hey, we, we had a rough night last night on predictions, but we're going to bounce back on a major way today. Let's let's dive into it, man. So, first game up, we got the Magic versus the Wizards. Uh, Magic are a minus seven favorite in this one. Of course, we're going to go with that. Uh, it's the Wizards. I mean, hell, it's... It's hard to pick the Wizards, man. I, I, if it was Wizards versus Wizards, I, I still would say that's probably a 50-50. <laughs> 50-50 game. Obviously, that's a joke, man. But, but yeah, we're going we gonna with the Magic minus seven. Uh, next game after that, Cavs versus the Hawks. Uh, Donovan Mitchell still listed his day-to-day, so it's tough, 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 man. They did just beat the beat the Celtics. They came back from a, they, and they dogged it out. However, they won on the road, and I feel like, uh, yeah, they, they're not going to be able to do that with the Hawks. I mean, the Hawks are minus two and a half favorite, and I'm in agreement with that, man. So I got the Hawks at minus two and a half. Uh, next game after that, Grizzlies versus 76ers. Sixers are a minus five and a half favorite. Um, they should be able to close that out at home, uh, playing at home, the crowd behind them, better team. Obviously, the Grizzlies missing their, uh, their all-star and John Morant, our superstar and John Morant, excuse me. And then uh, just some other players dealing with some little nagging injuries and things of that nature. But – I got the 76ers at minus five and a half, man. Uh, next game after that, Clippers versus the Rockets. Uh, Clippers are a minus six and a half favorite, which, again, they should be in this one. Do I have the Rockets going winning this one? Nah. I think the Clippers are going to go in there and look to have a bounce back and get back get back to, you know, uh, skating on things and, and winning it, man. So um, I got the Clippers over the Rockets at minus six and a half. Uh, Bulls versus the Jazz. Uh, I'm taking the Jazz at plus three and a half. Um <laughs> I'm taking the Bulls. At, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm taking the Jazz at plus three and a half. Uh, doing it for just just to kind of troll somebody a little bit, but at the same time, uh, I feel like the Jazz playing at home, man. And the way the Bulls have been up and down as of late, um, very inconsistent, but on the road having tough games to play. Uh, I feel like the Jazz gonna come out to play. Uh, Market is gonna have his way again, his former team. So I, I envision him to have a big game, and everybody else is gonna follow suit. Jordan Clarkson and them boys, man. So I got the Jazz at plus three and a half. Uh, next game after that, man, Bucks versus Warriors. Uh, Warriors are a minus three favorite in this one, uh, which is surprising. So I'm assuming it, it either means um, Giannis or Dame. Giannis or Dame is out, or both are out. But I'm gonna take the Bucks at plus three. I'm gonna have to look up the injury report on that real quick. But I'm gonna take the Bucks at plus three um, for that one, man. Um, Warriors are, again. They, they, it looks like they're kind of hitting, hitting, and hitting, uh, hitting the wall at some point here, and they got to get back on point. Obviously, uh, Steph Curry is a ma- major driving force behind that. They just got the the, the <laughs> absolute taste slap out of their mouth by the Celtics, so they got to respond to it. But I'm gonna take the Bucks on. I'm gonna take the Bucks on this one at plus three. Uh, next game after that, man, Thunder versus the Blazers. I'm taking the Thunder at minus thirteen and a half. That's a big spread, wide spread, but the Thunder gonna look to bounce back. As again, they they also suffered a, a defeat too as well uh, to my Lakers, and and, and I think uh, we're gonna see them come out with a vengeance, and they're gonna take that out on the Blazers. And then last game of the night, Kings versus the Lakers. Um, Lakers are a minus two and a half favorite, and I'm gonna grant with that. I'm gonna rock out my squad to win now with man playing great basketball. D'Angelo Russell has came back to life uh, to some degree, but you gotta be consistent and keep this going. So uh, let's see if we can. Um, so as a quick recap before I get up out of here, man, I got the Magic over the Wizards at minus seven. I have the Hawks over the Cavs at minus two and a half. I have the 76ers over the Grizzlies at minus five and a half. I got the Clippers over the Rockets at minus six and a half. Um, Jazz over the Bulls at plus three and a half. Bucks over the Warriors at plus three. Uh, Thunder versus the Blazers or Thunder over the Blazers at 13, minus 13 and a half. And then I got the Lakers over the Kings at minus two and a half. Well, quick recap, man. We got them all out the way. Uh, again, we're going to pay attention to it. Y'all stay tuned. I may do a pop-up live on my, on, the, on that Lakers and Kings game. Y'all keep an eye out for that. But as always, I appreciate you coming through. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a comment in the comment section. And I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of y'all. And as always, I appreciate you coming through. And I'll be back with y'all with another one, man.